Time to party with the profits. The following contest is a tag team tables match and is for the World Tag Team Championship. And at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented, they're tough, and they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment, and coming from me, that means something. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. It's the Heart Foundation. Sixteen pounds. They are the World Tag Team Champions, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart, the Hart Foundation. A true Hall of Fame tag team when you look at Bret the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart. We say it time and time again, but the Street Profits really are a team that love to have fun. They love to get the party going, have a good time. True, true, but don't get it twisted, Cole. Ford and Dawkins' high energy can translate into some absolute intensity when they really get going. And boy, we should expect them to get going in this one, guys. And they'll be facing off against one of the most iconic tag teams in WWE history, the Hart Foundation. The chemistry that Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart share in the ring is something most tag teams can only dream of. Well said. It's not just one thing that elevates the Hart Foundation to that upper echelon, but it's everything. You'd be hard-pressed to find a flaw in the game plan and execution of the Hart Foundation. The challenger eating up some damage. Neckbreaker connects. Running Bulldog! Byron, what could be the deciding factor in a tables match setting? It is all about being able to survive a truly chaotic environment. You need next level awareness to avoid accidentally losing the match. And some of the biggest upsets in WWE history have occurred in tables matches. I think it might happen again here tonight. Face first with a waist lock takedown. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Ooh, right across the solar plexus. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Set him up for the side rushing leg sweep. Leg drop. It's effective. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. And this one might be headed ringside. And Zulariot! Oh, the table! Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Here are your winners. Montez Ford and Angelo.
Angelo Dawkins. The Street Profits. What a tremendous win in this tables match. One of the best table matches I've ever seen. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Now here's a man who needs no introduction. Look at this physical specimen. I mean, think about it, guys. He's a former Royal Rumble winner. He's held the ECW and WWE World Championships. A true inspiration in every sense of the word. He must be prepared for battle against one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. And if he is, it'll be one of the most memorable moments in his entire career. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. Multiple tag team and Intercontinental Championship reigns during his first run here in WWE. But now that the prodigal son has returned, Cody Rhodes has reached main event status. He fights every night to make his family, make his father proud. Well, I think they'll be even prouder after his match tonight. Introducing the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 248 pounds, Mr. McMahon! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Who's going to lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? The 
Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. The likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. Well, certainly has a history. Cover by the champ! Emphatic kick out for the challenger. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled net slam. Boom. Did you hear the impact? I guess even Mr. McMahon likes a pop now and then. Maybe that will shut him up. Up for the electric chair. Down. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And they kick out it too. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. My, oh my, what ele- Has the challenger pinned? Is this it? Stops the ref count before two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Grabbing a hold of the arm. All the weight down. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Able to reverse that one. Close line. He's taking this to the floor now. Run! He's got a kendo stick! Oh! Rolling into a monkey flip. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. The challenger's looking shaken. And that looked like a terrible landing. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to see what happens. Great strength being shown here. Oh, bang! Face first! The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. Whip back into the ring. I don't know what they're looking for here. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into the action. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. Come on, there's no fair play in that. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. The champion into the cover. He's able to kick out before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Well placed, he dropped in the skull. Cody trying to get this crowd on their feet, trying to get them behind him. Roundhouse kick! That was nasty. Oh, oh, oh. clothesline stops that move in its tracks. Pedigree! Oh, new champ! Defiant kick out from the champion. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Oh, close line! The challenger is not in a great place. Well, you don't sign up for an Extreme Rules match without knowing the consequences, Cole. What a shot! This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. an escape. Oh, what a slap! It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up. Middle rope, a missile drop kick from the middle rope for the title. The challenger wriggles out in one. Not even a near fall there. Picture perfect drop kick. Taking it outside the ring now. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. He foiled that attempt. And did you hear the impact of that? Kendo stick impact. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is now a pin for the championship. Oh, I thought the champ had it. What a match. 
to the outside. This could get wild. No matter which way he uses that ladder, there's going to be a crash. Heading back to the ring. Big back body drop. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All the heart, all his... And breaks out of the sleeper. Whoa, leaping through the air. The challenger being outclassed here. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. I'm worried that beating your boss this much could be regrettable in the morning. A sledgehammer, how do you recover from that? Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors, knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. This doesn't even look like trying to win a match anymore. This looks like trying to end someone's career. Oh, disturbing impact. Oh, my gosh! Oh, man, each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. So many dangerous attacks, one after the other, making it difficult to regain any composure. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. This arena has come unglued. You can feel the foundation shifting with every turn in the match. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Oh, God. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. Boom! Sledgehammer right to the gut. And things are just going from bad to worse. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. And it's getting downright nastier and nastier with each of these attacks. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. And he slides him back to the mat. Ooh, man. And things are just going to retain the title. And the champ retains. Here is your winner. And still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. That may be one of the most important wins I've seen in recent memory. I agree, Corey. A huge victory tonight. You know, guys, I personally don't see this as a... He is simply phenomenal. <laughs> you said it, Michael. A phenomenal resume, phenomenal skills, and without a doubt, a phenomenal performer. The following contest is a fatal four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the WWE United States Championship! Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles! AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles, a WWE Grand Slam champion. This man has done it all, and he has absolutely no fear. There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years, and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, but AJ Styles has got the strongest bite. And there's no one who fights bigger bell-to-bell -bell than AJ Styles.
You're right. If AJ's breathing, AJ's fighting. And introducing the challenger, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. The WWE Universe is finally giving Sheamus his just due. Has won nearly every major title, has earned every major accolade, but he still loves to fight. The look in his eyes says Sheamus is ready for another five-star brawl. You think this guy cares about ratings? The whole effing show. And introducing the challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob from ACW standout to WWE legend. One of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. Yeah. A man who's held multiple world titles been the face of ECW. RVD is a man who sets the bar very high. Guys, there is only one Rob Van Dam. The Viper has arrived. And introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Randy Orton. The Viper won his first WWE Championship at the age of 24, the youngest world champion in history. Such an accomplished career for this young man. He's been part of some dominant groups like Evolution, Legacy, and Rated RKO. But gentlemen, we know that the Viper is at his best when he hunts alone. Methodical, dangerous Randy Orton has earned his spot at the top of WWE. He has beaten nearly every big name, slain nearly every legend. You gotta wonder, what's next for the Viper? Championship, Saxton, and plenty of them. History for the United States Championship being added to in this often disorderly TLC match trying to avoid disaster. It's going to be AJ Styles, Sheamus, Rob Van Dam, and Orton. The challengers have a fierce look of determination in their eyes, extremely focused on reaching for a new title. The champion could be in for a very disturbing scene in this one. I think that statement was obviously clear as soon as the champ looked around ringside. Oh, that close line. Forcefully delivered. Arm ringer applied and followed by a Larry right to the face. Explorer suplex. Right to the kidneys from behind. 
And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. And just like that, he sent crashing to the floor. RVD is getting in the zone now. He's itching for some competition here. So what's the key to making it out of a TLC match in one piece? If you want to win, you need to leave any hesitation behind and just lean into the stipulation. This match was created to cause chaos, so cause it. The challenger's looking shaken. Trying to sneak a victory here. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole, and not a very well-calculated one either. I'm not sure this is necessary. Go no, 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 no. Holy hell. That's it, that's it. What an earth-shaking impact delivered from up on high. All the way from the top of the ladder. Forearm smash on the ladder. So important to hit hard while up there, guys. Oh. Everything you got. And now he's continuing the fight up top. Orton measuring him. Oof. Drop kick. Belly to back suplex high on the back of the neck. Here's the Gorilla Press. Insane. What power. Insane. Up and down. Not done yet. Beautiful move. <laughs> wow. Did that just happen? <laughs> Look at this. DDT. Kneeling. Mind games in full effect from the Apex Predator. And he tosses him back in now. Can't really set it up right in the center of the ring. Oh, Perfect. boy. Perfect placement. Good measure. Looks to me like that ladder's positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Well, he just got a climb. He's looking at it here, guys. Victory just a few inches away. Oh, I would be shocked if this doesn't end in a crash back down to the mat. Me too. And back in the ring we go. STO. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Get him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. Oh. Neck breaker. Jumping neck breaker. Out. And he's taking this to the outside now. Dropkick finds the spot. Look at this. DDT. Kneeling. Or not intimidated. Not even close. If anything, he's the one doing the intimidating right now, Michael. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. All night. Okay. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Turning the tables there. Sharp punch. Ooh, stiff punch. A bad place to be for the challenger. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you gotta expect to be a little worse for wear. Wiper has him hooked. A splutter suplex from Orton. Alabama slam. Getting back into the ring. Oh, man. What's going to happen here? Backbreaker. <laughs> Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. Look at Orton here. Volley slam. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Oh! Oh, stomp it away. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. That's a free fall. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. This is a very dangerous situation now. Oh man, AJ Styles may be wishing he was back in Japan around now. Styles will rally. Relax. Ooh! -hoo. Look at the velocity into the table. Styles gets out of the way. Great agility. Reverse DDT 
for Styles. Are you kidding me? Styles, Styles goes through. And some effective offense for that one. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. Ooh, that hurt. Saw that one coming. <laughs> Just whipped into the table. He's going for it all. Oh, my God. Dobby Moonsault. Goodness gracious. Taking this to the floor. He's back into the ring. Orton playing mind games with the enemy. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. Oh, targeting the stomach. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Gets him with the counter. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. The burning hammer. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Seamus' words hit just as hard as his fists. Super kick! He's setting up the ladder now. But can he get up there in time? That's the question. Setting foot in the ring now. I think we all know what Styles wants next. Arms trapped! A win here would be a bit of a surprise! A shock! Come on! You gotta move quicker than this! For once, I agree. Championship level move. Yes, got it. New champion. Here is your winner and new WWE United States Champion, Rob Van Dam. Make way for a wrestling machine. The following contest is an elimination match and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds. Gold medalist and a multiple time WWE champion. It takes a lot of ruthless aggression to even survive against Kurt Angle. Here comes the leader of the C Nation. Already so many accolades for this young man. And believe me when I say, John Cena is only getting started. And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 240 pounds, John Cena. Already multiple United States and WWE titles to his name. John Cena may be one of the greatest champions of this era. One of the cockiest superstars in WWE history, but he's already backed it up with multiple titles and too many main events to count. Yeah, it's amazing. In just a few short years, John Cena has already become a franchise player. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for this young man.
Here comes the next big thing. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. What a rookie year for this young man, Brock Lesnar. No, you're not kidding. King of the ring, multiple WWE titles, and he main evented WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar has been on a rampage thus far in his career. He's already unseated main eventers and destroyed legends. Yeah, indeed, his career has grown exponentially in just a matter of months. He's called the next big thing, but he might be the biggest thing already. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. This guy has had a great career already, but winning the title tonight takes his legacy to a whole new level. Listen, this is pure electricity. I feel like the entire arena is shaking right now. It's all thanks to the unmatched power of the Brahma Bull. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Rock! Well, here's a man who's captured the imagination of the entire sports entertainment industry, the Brahma Bull, one of the very best of all time. Without question, The Rock has been a champion at every level. Hey, Saxton, your role, know it. Your mouth, shut it. That wasn't very nice. We're about to see The Rock lay the smack down. All the catchphrases aside, The Rock is all business tonight. <laughs> the Rock holding court inside the people's ring. The ultimate opportunist! Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Rated R Superstar Edge! 
a cornerstone, one of the forefathers of the tables, ladders, and chairs match. The ultimate opportunist. Resume a mile long. Two time Hall of Famer. One of WWE's most dominant champions. He is immortal. And from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the immortal. So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double-digit world title reigns. Not to mention he's a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. Headliner of the first eight WrestleManias. Count them, eight. Well, check out those pythons, Cole. It looks like Hulk's ready to headline eight more WrestleManias. Let's see, I said my prayers, I took my vitamins this morning. Guys, I think I'm on the right track. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And introducing the champion from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. And we have an eight-pack challenge match. Can't remember the last time I saw one of these. Honestly, the person I feel the worst for is the ref. Imagine having to keep track of... He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. I don't know what more this superstar could do to put him away. Hooked up. Look at this strength. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? This is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match 
makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything go stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Talk about it to me. Just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. What do you Does he have him here? Oh, no way he escapes the clutch. No way. No way. He is. He did it. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. All the way out. Suplex. A ah, shoulder right to the knee. Got to find a way to get out of this. Ooh, drop right on their face. Ah, trampling the opposition. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Kicking out now sends a very clear message. And a double DDT! Ooh, going over that top all the way to the floor. Back suplex! German suplex! He thinks he has it! And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Shot slam! Playing it. The champ getting put to the test here. And we know that look well, gentlemen. It says, what you gonna do? Here comes the setup. Oh, double DDT. And he gets set back into the red. And there was some force on that move. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. We still got more left in the tank. Hogan delivers a big boot. Bad predicament right here. Expected. Uh-oh, the beginning of the end. Incoming. Flag drop. Gonna see a new champ. Looking for the victory. Two. And Triple H was on the wrong end of that elimination. Running Bulldog. Double DDT. Third angle picks the leg. Looking to end this hit. And he breaks the submission. I oh, had that well scouted. He's locked up. Standing drop kick. It up. And a well executed move we just saw there. Vicious right for him. Uh oh, submission move. Unleashed Mike and four. Was over. Tap out coming. Here's a cover. Could be it. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Oh! Drop toe hold. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Trouble here. And oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Kick out after one from the challenger. Fighting out of it. Successfully does a couple effective shots. Burkina Clutch. Byron, he's got the sleeper locked in. The sleeper hold is locked in. This could be it. Tap out. Look at it. Could be it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Ooh. The clutch is in. This one could be over. Uh, breaking the grip, breaking the grip, breaking the hole. You... Here it comes. Looking for. He may get the three count right here. This is it. For years, you want some? Come get some. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. And well timed maneuver there. Oh my goodness. A bad place to. This could do it. A bear hug. Squeezing the breath out of them. Edge the rated R superstar. Close to losing this match. I don't think Close has any question about it. He's going for the pin. 
This could be it. We got a cover. Furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. And he only stays down for a one count. Wow. Not quite enough to put him away. Good God, that's devastating. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. For the win! Two! No! Title still hangs in the balance! The determination of the challenger keeps this match going. We can just see how the people's champ! Are you ready for the most? The Beast of Conan looking to end this! Wrestler! Not the position you want to be in right now. Opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot? Yet yeah, you can't give up now. How can the cover? cover? What does it take to keep this match? He can end it here. He's got him. And Edge manages to kick out. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. He's heading back to the ring. Power bomb all the way to the outside! Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Looking at the unpredictable, unhinged side of Edge coming out. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. This is truly awesome. Shoulders down! Kicks out before one. Incredible resiliency. And that definitely made some. to bend that way. For the love of God, submit. Fight again. Live to fight another day. Lesnar moved. Kendo. Sleeper hold is cinched in. Oh my goodness. Not for long. And Hulk finding himself in less than ideal circumstances. Yeah, Hogan absolutely struggling to survive after all the hits he's taken. He knows how to avoid contact. He grabbed the chair. Uh, now would be a good time to work. Cena! Oh, two to end it here! This is it. Hogan is eliminated. Hogan He's lost eliminated. his chance. That'll end Edge's night. He's, He's eliminated. eliminated. Oh, John Cena. He's adamant about this. He may get the three count right here. Breaks the count. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Producing a trampling. Cena still divisive as ever with the WWE Universe, but you can't deny his legacy. Thunder a shot to the oh. back. Shades of the USSR with the hammer and sickle. Oh, an arm breaker. Into the cover. Oh. Shoulders up before two. You've got to believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. Oh, my God. Can Cena withstand? How much pain can Cena take? Oh, the bear hug and a way to get out of it is being on display right here. Kick to the gut. Uh, Ooh, brutal forearm.
Look at this. Incredible. Oh, the Tetlift German suplex. Michael Cole takes shelter. Here comes the storm. With an F5. Bang. Gonna see a new champ. There's two. New champ. A new era begins. Here is your winner. And the new WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar. And we are looking at the last superstar standing in this matchup. Defying the odds, accomplishing the seemingly impossible, that's what elimination matches are all about.
Oh my goodness, it's France's greatest export. She's actually French Canadian. Same thing. Oh gosh. The following contest is an elimination match. Making her way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Don't get it twisted. Maurice is not a trophy wife. She's a mom entrepreneur and an all time great superstar. A mom entrepreneur? Are you That's serious? Right. I had to create a new term to encompass the multiple talents of Maurice. You're ridiculous. Do you have a reality empire? I don't need one. And one of the most popular competitors in the women's division. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan likes to say, watch me. Well, she's about to get what she wants because tonight it's all eyes on her. Indeed, we're going to watch Liv and see what she's capable of here tonight. She looks fired up. Why do I have this terrible vision in my mind of you cosplaying as Brie Bella Saxton? It's and a possibility. Representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, Brie Bella! Hey, you got to admire someone who has the guts to slap their own boss. Are you kidding me, Saxton? I would much rather admire my paycheck. Former women's champion and the inventor of Twin Magic. Uh, Cole, Nikki invented twin magic. Bree just copied her. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Ugh. And... From Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and Women's Tag Titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the Women's Triple Crown. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. A promising rookie in the women's division. And I'm sensing an edge to her. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora J. Amazing young talent, already won the NXT Women's Tag Titles and has main evented a number of times as a singles competitor as well. If Cora wins tonight, maybe she'll do some skating after the match. Or maybe she'll crack that skateboard over your back. is here. Quite the impressive young talent. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Been successful her entire career 
from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. You know, it gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. The bell is wrong and anything goes in this no disqualification. No disqualification match officially underway. Anything goes and everything is legal. I do not envy anyone in this match, especially the referee. Indy Hartwell trying to ramp things up. What a hurt, Toronto. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. Slap! He's going for the cover. And she kicks out. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. Laura Jay letting her know just how inconsequential she finds her. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Powerful contact by Luke Morgan. A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. It's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good going. Here's Liv Morgan into the quick cover. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. Yeah, this early, no chance. Still seems a little early. A oh, mounting. And hammering away. Liv obviously has that Jersey toughness. All right, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. A oh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. You feel like hope is still... Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Oh, man, by the hair. And we just saw some serious offense. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but... Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Is Bliss going to tap? Is... We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Head scissor takedown. Beautiful. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. She's beginning to flag a little. And we might be about to go from commentator to participants in this one, fellas. Drop kick. Beautiful. And this might not have a pleasant ending. My goodness. Oh. And then look at that. Single leg takedown. You could be looking for the single leg Boston Crab. And she slides her back to the mat. Man, she's got a lot of no dangerous way. intentions in her mind right now. It's like a heat seek. Trying to recover. Oh, she can end it here. And rebound getting the shoulder up. I can't believe this could be it. Cover. And she's not done yet. She shows that she's far from finished. Lynn Morgan not backing down. Not now, not ever. Face right take her. And some effective offense with that one. Will it be? Scratching and clawing. This could be it. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. I think someone's about to go three mode in this one. Nice drop kick. There she's got it. Got her shoulders down. Are you kidding me? Not even a one. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Quick return to the ring. Punch lands. Textbook neck breaker. Can Morgan clinch this one? Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull back slam. Ooh. I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Hartwell has her. Jimmy Hartwell with a sidewalk slam. Liv is good. She's going for it. And that's 
Gets an elimination at Liv's expense. Bree is in the zone right now, feeling the moment. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Thrown back in under the ropes. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Giving her opponent a moment to realize who she's in a fight with. Oh. And will it be? She gets the shoulder up. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. the back. Oh, the reversal by Bree Bella. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Indy keeps her at bay. Oh. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Kick to the gut by Bliss. Followed by. And that was a well-executed attack. Did Bliss end it there? Just toying with her opponent a little bit. Taking it to the floor. What's she gonna do? Boom! Yeah. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. She breaks the ref's count. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oof. Oh, nice takedown. Gonna spin them over and putting the pressure on now. Is Bliss gonna tap? Is Bliss gonna tap out? I think Bliss is starting to fade. Trying to break the submission, and she does. She wants it one more time. And he fell with a sidewalk slam. Brie Bella is absolutely laid out. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. You gotta give a lot of credit here, withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. Turning the tables. Then here come the punches. What is Brie Bella looking for here? Oh. She breaks the hold. Oh! Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. That's a bad landing. And Bliss effectively rocked by some well-timed offense there. I was... Oh, nice takedown. Gonna spin them over and seat it back, and the Boston crowd is fully locked in. Is Bliss gonna tap? Is Bliss gonna tap out? I think Bliss is starting to fade. Trying to break the submission, and she does. Short clothesline hits its mark. Bit of jaw jacking from Brie Bella here, and we'll see if she can back it up. In Alexis clutches. That shoulder targeted there. This could be it. Cover for the win. Forces the shoulder up after two. She just won't stay to hell. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Bloody Bulldog! Indy Hartwell attacking the arm. Hammerlock DDT! That's gotta be it! Two! And it's Sam for Alexa Bliss. Elbow smash! Sweeps the leg for the takedown. Looking to step over. It's locked in now. This would be an amazing upset. Can she get her to tap out? For moments away. Can her body hold out? Trying to break the submission, and she does. sights and making clear she's going to make this hurt. DDT! For the win! There's two! And a victory here tonight! 
Here is your winner, Brie Bella. What an impressive performance and victory surviving against every other superstar in this match. There has to be a great sense of accomplishment after coming out on top in a match like this. Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else is glorious. You can never underestimate Robert Roode's in-ring abilities. Because if you make that mistake, you are in for a rude awakening. See what I did there? I get it. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. Ah, the dirtiest of dogs, the show-off. And one of the toughest veterans on the entire WWE roster. Not about showing off anymore for Dolph Ziggler because he believes he's accomplished everything he needs to in WWE, and he's right. One of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Here come the ones. Before joining the bloodline, they were already considered an all-time great team, but now they've proven it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, unifying the Raw and SmackDown tag titles, the longest tag title reign in WWE history, that is more than enough proof. The following contest is a tag team Hell in a Cell match and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 453 pounds, Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. 
Ziggler. Dirty dogs! And their opponents, at a combined weight of 493 pounds, they are the WWE Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. Before and it doesn't end well. Oh! Oh! The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Drew can't be feeling glorious right now. Oh, but he's in trouble, Byron. I'm not so sure he knows what he's doing, guys. Who are you to question him? Here he goes, right up the side of the cell. Making it look easy. This is where superstars become legends, Cole. Ooh. Ah, gets cracked by the overhand. And he goes into the rank. Left jab, way up there. And with every step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking through a minefield. And there was some force on that move. Right on cue, Dalt reverses. Hopped up, jumping DDT by the show off. And more hits up there. Good defense. Through with a kick. Here it comes. He breaks the ref's count before two. How have we not claimed a winner yet? You gotta believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Yeah, that one busted Jimmy Uso up real good. Bang! Oh! And that was a precisely measured attack. They got up there, but how are they going to get down? I don't know if they fought that far ahead. Oh my God! Oh. The champion into the cover. Got him, and the tag titles stay put. Here are your winners, and still WWE Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay. And it's Jimmy Uso leading the team to victory here tonight. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today.